Diego Chargers. Let's join the commentary team now of Al Michaels, Frank Gifford, and Dan Deardorff. First two playoff games in the first half. So if I was going to start the game for Bobby Ross and the Chargers, I'd just as soon have my defensive team do it. Now that all sounds great mm -hmm. as long as San Francisco doesn't have a 12 play drive and march for a touchdown. But this is a unit that I'd want out there to make my first hit of the ballgame. Dexter Carter, who averaged 23 yards per return this season. A little better than the league average. Joe Robbie Stadium at 76 degrees, 82 percent humidity, and Super Bowl 29 is underway with a short kick that is taken up at the 17-yard line by Carter, and Dexter gets taken down at the 26-yard line. The tackle is made by Andre Coleman, and the game begins with a penalty marker. Jerry Markbright, the referee, is refereeing his fourth Super Bowl. He's the first man in history to ref four Super Bowls. And one of the men he'll confer with is Ron Botchin, the umpire, who is an original, there he is with a U on his back, an original charger. He played with the LA Chargers when they were born in 1960. Personal foul, face mask, number 54, kicking team, 15 yards, first down. So after good coverage on the kick, Doug Miller cost him 15 yards. Boy, and there's a great look at it right in the middle of our camera as he goes to the ground. He's just dragging down number 85 for the San Francisco 49ers, Ted Popson. And boy, that was excellent job of catching that one. And you hate to see fairly good work by your special teams thrown out the window. Here are the Niners now at the 41-yard line. They had water split to the right as a wide receiver and give it to the fullback. William Floyd for a pickup of four to the 45. The 49ers now offensively with Young at quarterback. Waters really came on toward the end of the season. Floyd, a fabulous rookie year from Florida State. Taylor and the fabulous Jerry Rice. Brent Jones, the tight end. And then the men up front. Wallace, Sapolo going to the Pro Bowl. Oates, the former Giant. Deese and Harris Barton, who tore his triceps on opening night and missed half the season. Healthy now. Second and six from the 45. And with Floyd in motion and no backs behind Young, he goes to the air and hits Taylor. And John Taylor has the ball into San Diego territory, and that's a first down. Seau and Gibson, the two linebackers, make the stop. Now, San Diego defensively, the base 4-3. Mims, Lee, Davis, a great acquisition, and Leslie O'Neill has been there since 86. Griggs, Gibson, and you all know about Seau and the secondary, and they'll be tested tonight. Gordon, Harper, the corners, Harrington and Richard to the safety. From the 44, they fake it to Floyd. Young to the air, Young to Jerry Rice, touchdown San Francisco. Well, that's quite a statement their defense made. Mm. The lightning bolts were just hit by one. Jerry Rice, his fifth Super Bowl a touchdown, splitting defensive safety men. And it was almost like they were paralyzed there. Almost like they were looking for an autograph as he went by. Well, the first pass to John Taylor was just a three-step drop, a quick release. This time, Young goes back a little farther, and you can see Richard in the trailing position in the middle, and 29 Carrington, both safeties for the San Diego Chargers. It's their responsibility to handle the middle of the football field, and Frank, I'm, I'm, I have dumbfounded as to what they're doing. Good move to the outside on Carrington. He obviously expected help from the inside. From Richard, he didn't get it. Six points, and this is the worst thing that could have happened to the Chargers. Doug Bryan, the rookie for the point after. The game is a minute, 24 seconds old. Jerry Rice has become the first man in history to score five touchdowns in Super Bowls. 7-0 San Francisco. Well, exactly the start the 49ers wanted and exactly the start that San Diego feared. Randy... Can the uh, San Diego Chargers recover from that, or will they be demoralized on the sideline? Well, it's very important now for Willie Shaw, their defensive backfield coach, to get his defensive backs together and say, guys, relax and settle down. You've had a miscommunication. You've had a problem. Put the clamps on Jerry Rice. You don't want Jerry Rice and Steve Young to get real, real confident early. They will keep going long, and they're such a great duo together. And here is the, uh, here's the touchdown again. Steve Young... 
And wh what was going on here in the defensive backfield, Marv? Do you know? Well, it looked to me like Richard was expecting some help. They were in and out on, on Jerry Rice, no question about it. Stanley Richard was going to take the outside cutaway. Somebody bit on another receiver along the way. San Francisco came out. They did not have Ricky Waters in the backfield once during the first drive. They spread the field. They hit Taylor short tried to get San Francisco to jump another short route and gave up that big play that I said they cannot afford to give up to Jerry Rice. How much does the opening drive really set the tone for the game? Oh, well, uh, it's seven points on the board, but there's a lot of football left to play, and uh, uh, by no means is this game over. All right, Randy, the uh, the Niners now, what what will they do? Will they, will they come out and go for the jugular, or will they look to consolidate? The, the Niners don't have any back off or, or, or slack off on them when it comes to football like this. They are going to just go attack, attack, and uh, attack a few times more. Defensively, they're going to man up. They're going to blitz. They're going to go after Stan Humphreys. They're going to blitz the running game. When they get the ball back, look for San Francisco to go deep again early to test that same defensive backfield. All right, so the San, Diego, uh, the San Francisco 49ers, rather, taking a huge lead early on. Let's go back to the game. Super Bowl history, 124, 7-0 49ers. Doug Bryan sends it skyward. The rookie Andre Coleman out of Kansas State. A third-round draft choice has done a nice job all season. Gets tackled by Adam Walker. Great coverage by the 49ers. And Stan Humphreys will take over at that spot. Stan Humphreys, selected by Washington in 88, traded a couple of years ago to San Diego. Streaky. Natron Means, the bull with a lot of speed, plows over people. Jefferson and Say are the wideouts, and they play a two tight end set with Young and Papuno. Then the guys up front, Swain, a rookie Isaac Davis, Courtney Hall, one of the best, Papuzo, and Stan Brock in his 15th season, the longtime New Orleans Saint, finally makes it to a Super Bowl. First down, the Niners put five men up on the line, and they give it to Natron Means, who squirms for three to the 18 yard line. It'll be second down and seven. Now, San Francisco defensively, and they're really strong up front in the middle. They've got Brown and Ricky Jackson on the outside, but Brian Young, the fabulous rookie from Notre Dame, and Dana Stubblefield, the tackles. Woodall is a rookie, Plummer, the ex-charger, and Ken Norton Jr. seeking his third straight Super Bowl ring. Davis is the only one of those four not going to the Pro Bowl. That's how good that secondary is. Sanders, McDonald, and Hanks with him. Second and call it six, up at the 19-yard line. Humphreys over the middle. His first pass is complete and caught by Mark Say up at the 24-yard line. A little short of the first down, third and one. And how important is it now for San Diego to keep themselves together, not do anything desperate, stay with a game plan, not, not get away from it this early in the football game? And I don't think they will. They're, but I do expect them to do a little bit more of the gambling type of offense than we would have expected. One thing I've seen here is that Deion Sanders is locking up with Sean Jefferson. The receiver for the Chargers, he's taking him to either side of the field. We'll have to see if that continues. Third and one, and they're going to open it up. The play fake, the roll, and then the pass is Eric, intended for Jefferson. So on the type of play, if you're going to button it up, you're going to give it to Means and let him do it. Instead, the Chargers go for the first down through the air but come up empty. You know, and Dan pointed out that he was locking up a Sean Jefferson in the game six weeks ago. He did not do that, and this was delivered to go right at cornerback Deion Sanders they knew he was going to be locked up they tried to get to Jefferson he was open and it was a poorly thrown ball if it's a good throw that's a completion against Sanders yes Sanders normally the corner on the other side of the field at least for the first series goes one-on-one -on -one with Jefferson Brian Wagner who started the season in retirement and then picked up in the third week it's a nice bounce as they let it roll down to the 21 yard line Dexter Carter let it go by it goes all the way to the 21-yard line. The kick is 55 yards. 7-0 San Francisco. Nicole. Papa Maman.
the new generation Renault Clio. It's perfect for visiting dignitaries. Maman? Papa? Well, Marv, they attacked Deion Sanders early, but it didn't work. No, they, it didn't, and I thought it was very important for San Diego to have some type of drive, not necessarily to score, but some type of drive on that play. They got a good break on the punt, a good long roll, now they got to keep them bottled up down there. All right, San Francisco's second, uh, second possession coming up now. Let's rejoin the game and your commentary team. That's the Bud One Airship. The aerial ambassador of the King of Beers cruising high above Joe Robbie Stadium on this Sunday evening. And a reminder that coming up after our coverage, the hottest new show of the winter, Extreme. And that previews right after we're finished in Miami. So stick around for Extreme tonight on ABC. Stan Humphreys, three and out after the 49ers ran three plays and got seven. And now San Francisco, first and ten at the 21-yard line. And Steve Young keeps it on the ground, gives it to Ricky Waters, who picks up the yard. He's tackled there by Sean Lee, who had arthroscopic surgery a couple of weeks ago, but is healthy again and starting in the middle, second and nine. Well, Bill Larnsberger, the defensive coordinator of the San Diego Chargers, 68 years old, has a wealth of experience at his behest, and I'm sure he needed all of it to try to calm down his defensive team, which gives up a bonehead touchdown to the 49ers on their first possession. They need to come up big on this series. Second and nine to give a different look with Jones set wide and in motion, and coming back the other way to Floyd. And Floyd is out to the 28-yard line, a little short of the first down. Darian Gordon makes the tackle. It'll be third down and three. Let's take a look at the Jerry Rice touchdown. Jerry Rice caught 12 passes in the game six weeks ago. Here's a replay of that play. And you saw the quick read by Steve Young as he looked down. Look at that, splitting the safeties. Again, he caught 12 passes for 144 yards six weeks ago. The middle of the field is only supposed to be vulnerable if you've done something with some of your safeties. Blitz them or something like that, not with both of them deep. Third down and three. And Young scramble, and that's what Steve Young does, and what sets him apart as he runs for the first down. So you cover everybody, and then there's Young. First down, San Francisco behind a neat singleton block. He is so effective. He goes back. He... Made about three reads then, looking first to his tight end, Brent Jones, who set up over the middle. He was covered. He looked to John Taylor. He was covered. He had the poise and the composure. There's a quick read. Brent Jones is covered. He pulls it down, and away he goes. And he is one of the better running backs on the football field, the third leading rusher this season for the 49ers with nearly 300 yards. It's almost not fair. No, it isn't. <laughs> he averages 5.1 yards per rush. The league average is 3.7. First down at the 49-yard line. This time gives it, or fakes it to Floyd, and throws to Waters, who breaks a couple of tackles, and there goes Ricky for a touchdown. Boy, I'll tell you, it was tough enough with John Taylor, Jerry Rice, and Brent Jones, but Ricky Waters has worked himself into the passing offense of the 49ers big time. The leading yardage gainer for backs and receiving this past season and Bill Arnsparger just wondering what is happening out there. Ricky uh, Waters wide open no protection no rather no pass rush on Steve Young you can't and he miss, took a good blow there you can't miss tackles against the 49ers you just can't do it Stanley Richard got a shot on Ricky Waters you just can't miss tackles downfield you can't blow coverages not against the football team this good and I'm in favor of rewinding back to the national anthem and starting over <laughs> Doug Bryan for the point after well we saw the fastest touchdown in the history of the Super Bowl and now the two quickest touchdowns this one 51 yards we played four minutes and 55 seconds and it's 14 nothing and the Chargers are doing their best to remain nameless and faceless 
Well, we saw the 49ers jump out to a huge lead in the championship game against Dallas, Randy, but that was, that was mistakes and turnovers. This really has just been two plays that, for some reason, San Diego weren't expecting. Uh, really, those are mistakes and turnovers. These are just mistakes. A blown coverage over the middle of the field with Jerry Rice's touchdown. Now, on this touchdown, it seems like another blown coverage. Somebody just drops Ricky Waters. Nobody covers him over the middle of the field. Then you have two missed tackles. And you can't miss tackles against the 49er receivers. It's what they do best is run with the ball after they catch it. And, Marv, right before that, on third and three, we saw another one of your keys. They, they, they took care of one on the opening drive, big plays, and your other one was stop Steve Young scrambling, and he managed to do that. Well, well you caught it, Gary, and I, I was going to say it. Uh, without the prompting from you, <laughs> that nothing would have happened. Third and three, the, the pass was covered. No one was open. They had him in the pocket, but Steve Young uh, scrambled for 15 or so yards. I forget the exact number. Gave them another chance. You can't give that team another chance. They're too good. So do you think we're going to see the other two soon in your key plays? They seem to have had a direct feed from our booth, I think, Marv. You've given the San Diego Chargers defensive game plan away. <laughs> well, they have to get the turnover. They better get those turnovers and kick returns now. They better return this kickoff for a touchdown. That's the other one of the other <laughs> keys. Seriously, though, what, what can you do? You've got Bill Ansbarger there on defense, who, who's a veteran. He was here in Super Bowl III when there was the, the great upset with the uh, Jets over the Colts. What can, what can these coaches really do now on the sideline? Well, they, they can try to get them back together. In that particular instance, they dropped deep. Uh, Young had a lot of time. Uh, somebody in the zone jumped on a shorter receiver, probably the tight end, and there was no one there to hit Ricky Waters. And as Randy pointed out, they compounded their problems by not making tackles. You, you're in a championship game. You've got to perform the fundamentals well, better than they did. All right, so the San Diego Chargers in terrible trouble early on. Here's the kickoff now, fielded in the end zone. And the Kansas State rookie brings it back out to the 22, where he's tackled by Toy Cook as the Chargers come out to take the ball for the second time. Incredibly, as it was on the first touchdown to Jerry Rice, it's the two safeties of the Chargers that are involved. The first one is a hit by Stanley Richard. The first one by Carrington, rather. That's Darren Carrington that bounces off. And then Stanley Richard right here comes in, and he gets faked by Ricky Waters, and he has a clean whiff in the open field. And earlier, safeties have to be good tacklers in this league. Uh, I don't know, it's just almost like they're mesmerized uh, by the 49ers. Here's Humphreys. He floats one that may have been tipped and is caught by Wayne Young. They play a double tight end set for a short game. Stanley Richard is known as the, the sheriff. He better call for the deputies here, the way yeah. the first uh, two touchdown plays have gone against that secondary. And I agree with you. I, th I thought it was tipped as well, Al. It was altered at the line of scrimmage. I think Dennis Brown, number 96. Yep, there he gets the left fingers on it. And nice piece of concentration there by Dwayne Young. Second and seven. They have Ronnie Harmon in the game. Number 33 was in motion, and they go right to Ronnie Harmon, and he seeks the first down and comes close to it. He is their third down specialist. He tied for the team lead in receptions with 58, and they'll probably use him more tonight on first and second down as well. Pittsburgh in the playoff game took him, uh, for all intents and purposes, out of the game. Only one reception, but we're going to see a lot of Ronnie Harmon from this point on in this game because he is a fine pass receiver you can use him out of the backfield you can use him in a slot you can use him as a wide receiver and he does everything in the passing game well you can see just a little bit short and the 49ers were obviously playing with the San Diego Chargers on the first series because now Deion Sanders is back at his familiar right cornerback position as a matter of fact Deion now looks like he's uh, taking a stroll towards the sidelines <laughs> Each team in its yep. third He comes out on game. short yardage, but he's Seven. sitting at his right corner position. That last time he was locked up on Mark Say, staying at home. Hanks goes to corner. Hall comes in at safety. Third down and inches. And Humphreys keeps it himself and has the first down at the 33-yard line. The Chargers' initial first down. They're a little dangerous to him third down. They haven't been one of the most successful teams on third down. And yet when we talk to Bobby Ross and... He was talking about this game, and there's Ralph Friedgen, the offensive coordinator. Been with Bobby Ross for so many years. But Bobby Ross said, look, we're going to have to do things a little different offensively. And Ralph himself agreed that they may get into a situation where they get around midfield. They get a fourth, one, and two. It's going to be a four-down series for them. First down, Dion back in. And goes man-to-man -man with Tony Martin. 
Martin as Natron Means carries to the 37. Means out of North Carolina, just 22 years old. Second round pick last year came out early. And Bobby Bethard said that acquisition and Reuben Davis defensively were the two best moves he's made in the last two years. And he's made some moves in the last two years. Picked up four unprotected free agents, and all of them are starters on defense. That's how much this team has changed defensively in one year. Second and seven at the 37-yard line. And it's Means again up to the 40-yard line. Tackled there by Bryant Young, the great-looking rookie from Notre Dame. Bryant Young has played as well as any defensive defensive lineman rookie that I have seen in a long, long time. He has started from day one. He has played every game. He has started every game. And the 49ers have hit consecutive home runs in the middle of their defensive line. First drafting Dana Stubblefield last year, and then this year with the number one drafting Bryant Young. Third and four. Say in motion. Humphreys guns one into the 49er territory. And it is a first down who played no part in the AFC Championship game, already a big part on this drive for San Diego here. Well, the Steelers effectively took him out with their defense, and when you take Ronnie Harmon out of your offense, he is their big third down receiver, 24, I think he caught over the season with a good quick move. He can plant a foot, accelerate it out of his cut, that was a good read on the part of quarterback Stan Humphreys and a good pass. Yeah, it was a good sharp throw by Humphreys. That's good to see. Six and a half minutes to go in the quarter. The fake to Means. Humphreys, nobody open. Well, his receiver falls flat on his face. Tony Martin went down to the ground, nobody to go to. It'll be second down and ten. Stan wants to work the right side of the field the whole way. Martin goes down, tries to make his cut, plants his foot and goes right to the turf. This time he's working against cornerback, you got it, Deion Sanders. And <laughs> Deion doesn't have to do anything. Stan has to throw the ball away. Now Sanders comes back to the other side and locks up with Sean Jefferson. It's second and ten at the 43-yard line. The short drop this time, and the quick out, and it's caught by Mark Say. His forward progress takes him to the 40. They'll be third and seven. And let's get a word from Lynn Swan. Swanee. Now with San Diego behind by 14 points, we know they're going to put the ball in the air even more. And Bobby Ross told me before the game that he talked to Jerry Markbrecht to remind him that there's a five-yard chucking zone. They don't want Deion Sanders to be able to put the, his hands all over the receivers like he did against Michael Irving in the Dallas game. So the officials will be on top of it all night long. Now, right, thank you, Lynn. Third down and seven. Just inside the 40, 5.50 to go. First quarter, 14 to nothing, 49ers. It's the ninth play of the drive, and coming across the line was Dana Stubblefield. Was he induced? That's the question. And we shall momentarily <laughs> find out the answer. Jerry Mark Bright. Offside, number 94, defense, unabated, going to quarterback. Five-yard penalty, third down. That helps a lot. That helps Ralph Regan upstairs. When you take a third and long situation and now bring it down to something a little more manageable. This is what I said a moment ago. They've had difficult difficulty with the third and short yards over the season. And this is four down territory for the for, exactly. the, for the Chargers right now. You're down 14 to nothing against the best team we've seen in a while. Uh, this is this is something you take a whack at it, you don't get it. You take another whack at it. And I think it would have been nothing to nothing they would. This would still be four down territory. Third and a short two. works out of the backfield as a receiver this time used on a little draw play to the offside and very effective Isaac Davis gets moving he, he's the second guy from the bottom number 73 320 pounds and he picks up Ken Norton jr. coming through the middle big block by Papunu Swain gets all the way across the formation that's the best looking running play by the Chargers yet on first and ten they give it to Nate Ron a pinball he works his way down to the 21 yard line a pickup of four with 440 to go in the first quarter it's more like a pinball than a pinball 
<laughs> One thing with the 49ers going up by 14 this early in the game, you really don't have to leave your game plan. You have a lot of time to get back into the football game, and this is a very effective drive that could get the Chargers back into the game. Here's Means. He's not... He sort of looks like he's a little top-heavy when you get up close to him and you watch him work out, but he has amazing balance for a big man, almost 250. He's got some legs, doesn't he? Ooh. On second and six, Means again. Meets right inside the 15, takes it to the 10 yard line. Deion Sanders met Natron Means. <laughs> Deion's so proud of himself for getting in on a tackle. <laughs> he's up high fiving people. He was there and he survived it. Hmm. Deion's very open to the press this week down here in Miami. He says, I hate tackling. He said, That's for linebackers. <laughs> It, it, it is the 90s, I guess. I know they're good looking. Draw. It's really the same thing with Papunu, Swain, Davis all being involved. And Dion knifing in there. Oh, nice tackle. First and goal, the nose of the ball was right on the strike. And it's Means taking it to the nine yard line. He's stopped by Gary Plummer, the longtime former Charger, who opted to go to San Francisco to try to get to a Super Bowl. And he did, of course, not having any idea he'd be facing his old mates. A little bit ironic, except I think that Gary Plummer thought all along that he had a much better chance of getting there with the uh, 49ers. The Chargers, they didn't look like at the second half of the season that they were going to do much of anything in the postseason. A 500 ball club down the stretch. On uh, second and goal, Humphreys comes in. Oh, yeah. yeah they got Sanders that time. Sanders got flagged, covering Sean Jeffries. Oh, he almost guarded him. And right in front of the official. That's as flagrant a defensive hold as you will, uh, as you'll see. And well, you know, if, it, if he hadn't <laughs> held him, it might have been six points. And, and and credit to Chargers. They said they were going after Dion. They weren't going to. They weren't going to run it out. And they have taken it to him. Let's take a look at Jefferson. He runs it straight down the field, brings it across, and walked Dion. He's beat here. He has to grab him, or it's going to be six points. And he mauled him. No, that's not Michael Irvin. And. This isn't the NFC Championship. This is the Super Bowl, and it's first and goal at the one. And Stan Humphreys has to call a timeout with 2.48 remaining in the opening quarter. It'll be the 13th play of the drive coming up. The Chargers, first and goal, down by 14. Remember this, this, and that. Feel nostalgic, you do. Oh dear, it's time to make the cocoa. I said it's time to make the cocoa. Because we'll be honest, this will not interest you. We know what your cup of tea is. It's a cup of tea. And allotments, driving gloves, and his and hers matching coats and rambling. Things confuse you. Music, technology, we'd like to explain. Honest, but what we're selling today is this. The Toyota RAV4, a four-wheel drive that handles like a GTI. Look at the press reviews. That's enough. You're never going to drive a RAV4. And if you are, you shouldn't be. Remember when you saw your parents dancing? Embarrassing. The RAV4 is a 2-litre 0-60 in 9.9 seconds of road act. What are you going to do off-road? Road, go surfing, forget it, that shouldn't be too difficult. It's making you angry, don't watch, switch channels. Our intention is not to antagonize, annoy, upset. Okay, we lied, it is. We just want you to accept the RAV4 is not for you. You may now return to tearful reminiscing about the wireless P Supers, Pearl Carr and Teddy Johnson. Thank you. The RAV4, the car in front of the car with a knitted steering wheel is a Toyota.